Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on the uh, area of a uh, parallelogram. And again, this is given to me by, oh, sorry, suggested to me by one of one of my subscribers, and it's a high tier GCSE question. And it says, find the area of a, sorry, find the area area of a parallelogram given three coordinates: zero minus one, six one, and minus seven four. Now. In the actual question itself, there is no diagram of any type. Okay, so I've, I've done the diagram on this grid because that's going to help me check my answer. I'm not going to do the usual height times base method. Okay, because that would be difficult. Okay, so what I've done is to set up the x coordinate of 0, 6, and a 7, and then I've repeated this. The very first one there. Now it doesn't matter where you start. You can start from six one or my seven four. The you might, might get you might get a negative um, uh, answer, but it doesn't matter. So I've repeated the first coordinate there. Okay. Similarly, I've got my y coordinates there as well, and again I've repeated the first y coordinate there from there to that one as well. In red. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. Right, then what I then do is this here. I multiply my 0 times 1 that way, plus 6 times 4 that way, plus minus 7 minus, sorry, plus minus 7 times minus 1. And then I subtract, and then going the other way around, going back on myself now, I do. Uh, 0 times 4, minus 7 times 1, 6 times minus 1, and then add these, add that, and add that, and then subtract, and I get this here. Oops. And I get 31 minus minus 13, and that gives me an area of 44 square units. So much easier than trying to find the height and the base. So much easier. Now, just to check, you don't you won't got time to do this in the exam, but just to check, what I've done is to create a rectangle around the parallelogram. I shall now find the area of this rectangle, which is 13 times 7. If you just check 13 times 7, just check if you want to. And 13 times 7 is 91 square units. So the area of the red rectangle is 91 square units now. Now I'm going to subtract from that the area of these triangles. Now those two triangles are the same. So I don't have to divide by 2. And that one is the same as that one there. Okay. So now uh, what I do is... Uh, 7 times 5, which is the bigger, that one, and that one, plus, excuse me, plus 6 times 2, which is that one, and that one, the area of those two triangles there. And that gives me a value of 47 square units. Now, if I now subtract that from my 91 square units, I got a figure of 47 square units. So, the area of the parallelogram, in, using this method, is just as good as this one here. Now, but don't forget that in the actual question itself, there's no diagram, there's no grid. Okay, so it makes sense to try and do this way if you can remember how to do that way. Now, I've got to upload uh, uh, a Python program or coding that actually helps to solve the area of a parallelogram given three coordinates. Okay, now. I do hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye now. Bye bye.